historically uh, NDFC has grown at a faster pace than banks. However, that growth has slowed recently. So I would like to go to uh, Mr. Ramesh Ayer and have your point of view. Uh, do you think it is uh, pandemic induced or are there any other factors uh, which are uh, making this? You know, the, the growth is a strategic plan of an NDFC, right? I mean, it's not that we just want to embark on this growth journey and just keep lending. We are all conscious of the fact how market is turning out, what are the ch challenges in the market. And you talked about the pandemic. But you look at it from the customer side. Are the customers ready to take so much of credit in these difficult times? At least the market that we serve. What we see or saw was customers are also cautious. I mean, they want to be absolutely sure and clear about uh, why are they acquiring this asset. So one thing that we saw out there was, you know, livelihood products are the ones that they are buying and not aspirational product. And to that extent, there will always be pressure. I think coupled with that, we saw non-availability of vehicles became one of the big issues. So even though we were willing to lend, there was demand for vehicle, but if the assets were not available, it led to some slowness in the disbursement for sure. I would like uh, to request Mr. Manoj to emphasize his views on growth uh, in If you look at large corporates today, there is a tapering down on the debt that they have taken. However, uh, if you look at recent data from the Bureau, we are seeing reasonably strong demand uh, from the micro and small enterprises. Year on year, it's grown. The inquiries have grown by 25% of the commercial Bureau. So uh, I, I would say that, you know, the way we, uh, this whole pandemic has played out, there was a period when our micro and small enterprises didn't have demand for their products and services. And hence, they obviously didn't need to go out and borrow more. But as the dust settles, what we are also seeing is good businesses, viable businesses, especially in the micro segment, who need that additional help are coming back up and, and you know, wanting that additional funding as growth capital. Mr. Uh, Mindra, I would like to have your take on the future of these segments uh, for someone like yourself who has recently acquired a small finance bank license uh, which primarily focuses on these customer segment groups which are basically MSME microfinance. Uh, so I think, um, uh, you know, uh, we just need to demonstrate that we get credit access to them at good rates and have that understanding that when there are temporary dislocations in their business or situations in personal life that we are able to back them up uh, and make it happen. But I do believe that they remain uh, the best opportunity for all of us on this panel at least.